Porto Romano as a brand, to me, has this sort of sense of elegance and humor, uh, wit. There's a sort of real sense of the materials and, and, it, and it's just beautiful kind of work uh, as well. It's just got an extra spark to it, really, yeah. I wanted my logo to have a, um, a joyful, celebratory feel to it, to be kind of playful and, uh, um, and really to mark this 30 years, you know, with something that were, was lively in the way it was done and in the way that the material sat on the page. Well, I think that there's such a commitment to creativity at Portramana. They're brave and they're bold and they do amazing things with their finishes and they're so experimental. They have all their own craftspeople and they're so good at working to discover new finishes. They're very adventurous. Um, so the different ceramic finishes and the painted metal finishes, I think that is amazing because they do it all in-house. So it's that sort of commitment to developing something so unique. I think that's a really, really sort of defining gene of Porta Romana. Working with Porta Romana has been complete privilege. They have great sympathy, they have a great kind of sensitivity to the arts, and this is all a great celebration of Porta Romana's 30th anniversary. It's lovely to be collaborating with you on your 30th anniversary. Good luck for the next 220. We're sitting here in Mayfair and Piccadilly in an area which is really about craftsmanship. Because if you go up the road, they're making suits. You go that way, they're making shoes. They're making jewellery. So we've got a natural affinity with people who make things. Um, and the other curious thing is, in the school, there are students making art all the time. So, so collaborations with craftspeople people who think carefully about design and beauty and function. It feels completely natural to us.